Thank you. Negotiators from Ukraine and Russia ended a first round of talks with no breakthrough. Both sides have agreed to conduct a second round soon. As attacks inside Ukraine continue, the financial sanctions much of the Western world have levied against Russia are already having major crippling effects on its economy. Laura Podesta has the latest. Now in its sixth day, the war between Russia and Ukraine is not slowing. Satellite imagery shows a 40-mile Russian convoy moving closer to Ukraine's capital of Kyiv. Overnight, more than 70 Ukrainian soldiers were killed on a base near Kharkiv, according to an official from the region. More than half a million people, many of them elderly and children, have left Ukraine, according to the UN Refugee Agency. This packed bus arrived in Athens overnight. Russians are finding themselves increasingly isolated by tough economic sanctions. The ruble is plummeting. It's worth less now than one U.S. penny. The country's stock exchange remains closed today for a second day to stave off losses. Attempts at diplomacy continue. French President Emmanuel Macron spoke with Russian President Vladimir Putin yesterday, pleading with him to stop the attack. President Biden at this time is not engaging with Putin. We're not ruling it out ever. Uh, it just is not the appropriate moment or the moment uh, for the United States president to have a conversation with the president of a country invading a sovereign country. As images continue to emerge of attacks injuring civilians, the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court says he's launching an investigation into possible war crimes and crimes against humanity. Laura Podesta, CBS News. Ukraine is urgently applying to become a member of the European Union, which, if accepted, may help the status of Ukrainian refugees in European countries. It would also be a symbolic membership to show Vladimir Putin that Ukraine is part of the West.